everyone, I'm Al Michaels, here for more great NFL action with my partner, John Madden. And hold on, because this is going to be a good one. Now, here's one of the better quarterbacks in the league. And the great thing about him is that he always gets the job done. Maybe it's selling a play pass or throwing a block on a reverse. He's always out there doing the little things to help his team to victory. Steve Smith will be his go-to guy once again and for obvious reasons. He's one of the better route runners and always seems to make the catch in traffic. Stopping this combo hasn't been easy for many defenses, so we'll have to see what type of coverages they go with to prevent these two from doing a lot of damage. Look at them down there. Offense, defense, it doesn't matter. They just want to start hitting somebody. <laughs> They're already hitting each other. Now let's go to midfield for the game's coin toss. Both teams eager to get today's action started, so let's go to the field. The Giants are lined up for the kickoff. And he got all of that one, a great kick. From the four. To the 20. They're ready to go on offense for the first time. Our EA Sports coach close-up features two of the more meticulous coaches in the NFL. John Fox with a defensive unit that finished 10th in scoring defense in 2003, one of the best defensive lines of all of football. And he's taken down in the backfield. He just recorded his first sack. Second member of our EA Sports coach close-up is Tom Coughlin, a very tough and demanding coach. They line up in the I formation, calling an audible. Looking downfield, launching the pass deep down the right side. This one falls incomplete. The Panthers appear to have a big advantage on the defensive side of the ball, John. So what about the other guys? What are they going to try to do offensively? I'd expect to see them keep them off balance. You know, some draws, some reverses, some screens, things like that that are designed to take away their pursuit and aggressiveness. And he goes out of bounds at the 29-yard line. A little over four to go. Surprising to see them go for it here. You'd expect a punt with the throw. Can't bring him down. Emmons records the stop at the 39-yard line. I'll tell you, this has to be frustrating. Watch here, as it's a great situation for the defense. They think they've got him, and they're about to get the ball back. Then all of a sudden, he drops back the pass, and boom, they're moving the chains, and they're getting a whole new set of down. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. Lost some valuable yardage on that run through the middle. He's got to look to make his move earlier. If he sees guys waiting there in the middle, he's got to look for the cutback lane. To bounce it out, looking for a little more room to the outside. They'll go from the I formation. Throws it. He hits his receiver. The 50. Peterson stops him at the 43-yard line. Mohammed pulls in the pass for a first down. He's picked up both first downs on this series. So we have first and ten here. They line up in the I formation. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Davis couldn't get out of the backfield. That was just a defensive line getting lower than the offensive line. When your defensive guys up front can control the line of scrimmage, it makes it very difficult to move the ball on offense. They have to reach the 33 to convert. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. They'll go with a play fake. Throws to the end zone. Incomplete pass. Hail Mary pass, but it falls harmlessly to the turf. Ninth play of this drive. The Giants come out in a nickel pack. He's looking with the throw, and this pass is completed. Mohammed didn't get enough for the first. Play of this drive. So they need about three here. The backs are lined up in an eye. Manga goes in motion. Looks like he's changing the play. William takes him down at the 30 yard line. Look at that. They pick it up again. And the thing is, somebody in this defense needs to rise up and make a play. They have to be able to get off their blocks and make a tackle because this is just ridiculous. 
to not be able to stop those guys on fourth down. With the pass, no completion there. That pass was right there, but he was unable to hang on. I think he just took his eyes off that one. Twelfth play of this drive. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Throwing. He's at the corner. He's taken down at the 17. Nice ball going to the air, and that'll move the chain. It's first and 10. And we're ready to start the second quarter. So we have first and 10 here. Davis lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Looking downfield, and he makes the grab. Perfect pass, great catch, and that'll move the chains. They need two yards to get it in the end zone. They'll go from the I formation. Hand it off, so they'll lose yardage on that tackle. Probed the middle, but was turned away. They have two pretty good run stoppers in the middle of that line. They can cause some plays like that. They line up in the I formation. Steven Davis is in there for the score. He just got it across the goal line. The offense has been knocking on the door, and now they just kicked it down. They'll get set for the extra point. It's up, and he tacks on the extra point. And that drive was very impressive. Over 70 yards, and a lot of time was used. Kept by the touchdown. It's too bad touchdowns are only worth six points. The way they picked apart the defense on that drive, they should be awarded eight or nine. He got all of that one. From the one-yard line. And they're ready to go on offense for the first time. First and ten. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Closing in, throwing short to his left. He was really hit hard on that play. Yeah, you talk about your deep cleaner. That's what happened there. He unloaded and he got it to clear. About six to go. They're making some changes up front. He surveys the field. This pass is incomplete. Barber, the deep back. Throws it. Incomplete pass. Witherspoon was in perfect position and knocked that pass away. He's got great recovery speed. He can catch up to the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. Seagulls will come into this game to punt. Here's the punt. From the 48-yard line, he picks up a few yards on the return. So we have first and ten here. Davis, the deep man. Davis, pressure coming. Good play in the backfield. Great job getting in there to drag the quarterback down. He picks up the sack. And he'll make two or three plays like that in just about every game. Davis lines up behind his fullback in the eye. He's looking, rolling right. It's loose. The fumble is scooped up. He was trying to make something happen by himself and puts it on the ground. They line up in the eye formation. Warner sends a man in motion. Pass play here on first down. Guns it out to the right. Great pass. Here's an open. The 20, the 10, dives and makes the tackle. He brings it in for a big game. Almost every wide receiver gets better at running routes as they get older. 
And this guy's no exception. Barber, the lone setback. Crosses it out to the left. Kiki Barber is in there for the score. That was an almost perfect run in that type of situation. Yep, he just lowered his shoulders and got the short yardage that they needed. Bryant comes in to attempt the point after. And it's on its way. The extra point attempt is good. The Giants have tied it. The Giants are ready to kick this one off. Should be a return here. From the six. The Panthers will start this drive from the 23-yard line. Almost at the two-minute mark now. Davis, the deep back on the ground. Drop behind the line for a loss of a couple. Davis wasn't able to get anything going on that play. They got there and shut that play down very quickly. That's just a case of studying game film this week paying off. When you know what they like to run in certain situations, you can anticipate the play call and stop the play before it even gets started. And we've reached the two-minute mark here in the first half. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. With the throw. Incomplete pass. Gets the pass off. Perfect throw. Green records the stop at the 38. Now this is one heck of a play. Look at it. You're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets him a first and keeps the drive going. Drops back. Looking for a receiver. Going long to the left. He has it. Williams with the stop at the 24. Amazing play by Smith. And that's the type of thing that can happen when you get this guy the ball. He's going to move the ball, and he's going to move it with speed. Davis, the deep man. Another run. Williams is the guy who's there to bring him down. At the 17-yard line. Gain of seven. And have to get him past the 14 to convert for the first down. The backs are lined up in an eye to carry it. Play action. Off balance throw. Incomplete. He fires the pass, but it's overthrown. It looks like he might be pressing a little bit out there. He needs to be a little more patient, find his receiver, and then deliver the ball on a spot that his receiver can go to. On a third and short situation like this, the defense has to be ready for anything. Rolling. Pass ball's incomplete. And we'll see if the kicker can come through with a field goal here in the first half. Just over a minute still to go. This is an aggressive pull when they should probably kick the field goal. They're going to go for it. Big pop that time. You want someone there to tell you to watch out because he just got decked. I'll tell you, this has to be frustrating. Watch here, as it's a great situation for the defense. They think they've got him, and they're about to get the ball back. Then all of a sudden, he drops back the pass, and boom, they're moving the chain, and they're getting a whole new set of down. Emmons with the stop at the six-yard line. Well, John, they kept it in the quarterback's hands. And they didn't get anywhere. The quarterback got knocked around, but that was about it. Davis lines up behind his fullback in the eye. They give it to the halfback. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Davis was dragged down before he could get to the line of scrimmage. They have great size and quickness up front. That allows them to hold up against the run while also giving them the speed to rush the passer when they drop back the pass. On the carry. Missed tackle. Deshaun Foster is in there for the touchdown. Here's how they get in on that one. They just can't bring him down. And he piles into the end zone for the score. The kick is up. The extra point attempt is good. The Panthers are set to kick it deep. Booming kick downfield. 
from the three. The defense gave up a touchdown the last time. They're trying to get in range for a last second field goal attempt before halftime. First and ten. They'll come out of the nickel. Toomer goes in motion. Passing on first down. Gets the pass off. Great throw. Manning stops him at the 46. Good looking play there as they pick up the first down. Keep the drive alive. It's first and ten. They're making some changes up front. The Panthers come out in a nickel package. Throws it. This pass is incomplete. This is where the defense needs to just play smart and not give up a big play. There's not a whole lot of time left, so they just need to prevent them from getting into field goal range. Looks like he's calling an audible. Carolina. Looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. They'll bring the blitz. Gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. Good call by the defense as they set the corner on a blitz. He just had too much pressure in his face to see anything, and he threw one out there. Lucky for him, it wasn't picked off. The Panthers come out of the quarter defense. Dropping back. Pressure with the throw. Incomplete. Not a bad pass shot. The receiver just couldn't come up with it. No, and sometimes when the ball is right at you, you think about running after the catch before you even catch it. Siegel is back to punt. Smith sets up to run back the punt. Here's the kick. From the 21. This should be the last play of the half. The Giants come out in a nickel package. Dropping back the pass on first down. Unleashes the deep ball. This one falls incomplete. Going to the halftime. The score is 14-7. We'll go back to the play on the field. As we get set to the kickoff, here's a look at the halftime stats. And he got all of that one, a great kick. From the two. New York losing by seven, heads back out. The Giants came into this game with a very highly rated defense, but they certainly haven't played that way today, John. No, they really haven't. They had some breakdowns and some mental errors in the first half. If you have enough of those, no amount of team speed or strength is going to make up for it. Flips the tackle. You can hear the collision up here. He's feeling it right now. Either that or he's numb all over. And that's worse. Second and inches. Changing things up along the defensive front. Only one man back. Throwing. And this pass is completed. How about that speed? Great individual effort. He throws lasers all over the field. He can throw them short. He can throw them long. He can throw them medium. He can throw them anywhere. First and ten. Slight change in the defensive alignment. Shockey in motion. Cross play to the left. Solid hit. Just crunched him. The thing is, when you get hit like that, it's like having a bumblebee in your helmet. You just can't get rid of it. Pickup of about seven. The first down marker is just inside the 40. They line up in the I formation. Warner sends a man in motion. Looking for room. 
big pop that time. Boom! Now that was big time football. Couldn't find much of a hole, and he's brought down after a gain of what looks like a couple. Yeah, you talk about push. This line got no push at all, and there was nowhere to go. Brought down behind the line for a short loss. Barber didn't have much to work with on that running play. That's because the defense did a good job anticipating the snap count. With an aggressive defense like this, a hard count could be an effective way to keep them off balance while trying to draw them off sides. Here's the punt. The officials are trying to determine where it went out of bounds. Inside their own 20. Despite very little success running on first down, they still lead it. Some teams manage to get by pretty well without a solid running game. And that's mostly because their passing game is very effective, especially their short passing game. Davis is the deep back. Rosen, and he makes the grab. Peterson records the stop at the 12-yard line. DeLone stunned the pass to his receiver. Yeah, great job of holding on to it. That one had steam coming off it. They can't get it done on the ground on first down, John, but they're still leading in this one. And running is important, but they've got other weapons that can get them in the end zone. Number 23 with the stop at the 21. Second and short, upcoming after a good pickup through the air. Right here is one of those situations where you can pretty much open up the whole playbook. You can go with a play fake and look for something deep, or you can just run the ball. Just about anything is an option. Dropping back, gets the pass off. He hits his receiver. Williams brings him down at the 26-yard line. Nice read, finding the receiver who was in single coverage. At the end of three, the score is 14-7. The Panthers have the lead and are in control as we begin the final quarter. Davis is the deep back. Looking for room. Under pressure. Gets rid of it. Down to his knees and makes the catch. And it'll be second and less than two following that pass for decent yard. I'll tell you, when you've got second and short, you can call just about anything and everything. Because if you don't get it on this play, you can always go back out there on third, and you still only need a yard or two for the first down. With the throw, ooh, nearly picked off. Joseph was there for the pick, but he dropped the John. He'll be thinking about that all night. No, they don't have the best hands in the field. They sure do take up a lot of space. So if one of them pops up in the path of the football, he'll generally do something good. Davis, the deep back. Green stops the play in the backfield. Is it on that stop? He's put into the tackle number six. Well, that didn't cut it. Now they're looking at fourth down. And they made the decision to just keep it on the ground. Take time off the clock, not force anything. This is a luxury of being ahead. They'll take a chance here and go for it on fourth down. And this pass is completed. Peterson with the stop at the 43. This is just a great play to pick up the first down and keep the drive alive. And then it's fourth down. You got one last shot to do it, and they do it perfectly. Davis, play action, looking deep to the right. The pass rolls incomplete. Tenth play of this drive. Crosses it out to the right. Bryson records the stop at the 48-yard line. And this is the 11th play of this drive. Ball at about midfield. Foster is the deep back. Closing in. Great play in the backfield. Good coverage as the rush got to him. And that's the kind of thing you got to do. You got to find a way to put the pressure on and disrupt his timing in the pocket. Fourth and long after the set. 
So instead of the special teams group, they're going to let the offense stay out on the field and take a shot on fourth down. Gets the pass off. This one falls incomplete. Two-minute warning coming up. Pass play here on first down with the pass. Nice adjustment. Hawkins makes the tackle at the 35. First down marker is just inside the 32. Barber, the lone setback. Shocky, the man in motion. And we've reached the two minute mark. The defense changing things up. They'll go from the I formation. Witherspoon gets right in there and brings him down. Gets the pass off. The defense has it. The defender was all over that one. That was a great pick. He was reading the quarterback like a book. Ball on their own 43. Davis. Bryson makes the tackle at the 47. Second and six coming up here. The Panthers line up with two backs behind the quarterback. With the pass. Incomplete pass. Usually I think we'd see a run. This coach has made some gutsy calls before, and he could be looking to make another one right here. I'll tell you, this defense better be ready for anything. Pressure coming, throwing. He hits his receiver. The Giants call a timeout. They have one timeout remaining. This one is just about in the book. Number 72 gets right in there and brings him down. They're not just going to give up on the run, no matter how ineffective it is. Need to get the ball inside the 24 to convert for a first down. The quarterback lines up with two backs behind him. Hands it off to the back. We'll feel that one tomorrow. Yeah, with how hard he just got in, he's lucky to be able to hold on to the ball. I'm guessing this should be a run. Defense can't be lollygagging around because if they are and they give up a first, this one's over. New York comes out with seven in the secondary. Cut. With the pass, a little off target, but caught. Peterson pulls him down at the 23 yard line. Ball on the 23 yard line. Seventh play of this drive. Just over a minute still to go. They line up in the I formation. Gets the call. With the throw, broken up. And a kneel down here on second down is the most likely scenario. Eighth play of this drive. They'll go from the I formation. They'll mark it at the 14. Pick up of about eight. The first down marker is just inside the 13. Last play to the right. William stops him at the 13-yard line. Nothing doing on that running play, so they'll probably send in the kicker. I think so. When you've got the lead, you don't have to try anything fancy. You just pack on the three and put the game in your defense's hand. I thought we'd see the field goal unit here, but they're going to go for it. Drop behind the line for a loss of a couple. And they turn it over on downs. Maybe he thought his team could make a play when it really mattered. Now they've given the other team a chance on offense. First and ten. Barber is the deep back. Shockey, the motion man. Pass play here on first down. Rowing. Oh, he makes 
the catch anyway. Good read, finding the single coverage in the secondary. They'll head right back to the line. They're making some changes up front. Hill stopped the clock with the spike. So it's second and ten. Changing things up along the defensive front. Barber, the lone back, drops back, pressure, with a deep throw to the right side. He hits his receiver, dives, and brings him down at the 29. First and ten. Carolina comes out in the quarter defense. No pass on first down. Going long. This one falls incomplete. Time for just one last heave to the end zone. The defense cares about only one thing here. They can't let the ball cross the goal line. And if the ball's in the air, they just have to knock it down instead of trying to pick it off. He's going for it all. This pass is incomplete. That's the final gun, and the score is 14-7. Good, exciting battle between two strong defensive units. One touchdown separating the team. Jake DeLone is our horse trailer player of the game.